The Montreal Canadiens and Toronto Maple Leafs have been fundamental parts of the NHL from the very start. The rivalry between these two franchises is what brought many to hockey way back in the day, and it was a crucial feature to bringing the sport to where it is now. The rivalry between Montreal and Toronto, it predates the foundation of either hockey club, with the two cities having been considered economic rivals since the mid-19th century, as well as cultural rivals from the mid-20th century. The creation of the National Hockey League wasn't even the starting points for the hockey feuds between these two major cities. The NHA, or National Hockey Association, was the original starting point for the quarrel betwixt the two. A dispute between the owner of the NHA's Toronto Blue Shirt, Seti Livingstone, and the other owners of the NHA, including Montreal Canadiens owner George Kennedy, was actually what led to the creation of the NHL in 1917. And since then, the rivalry between Montreal and Toronto has only grown. This is the story of two teams and fan bases with a beef larger than most, and a passion for the game that burns bright to this very day. During the NHL's first 25 seasons, Montreal and Toronto faced off in only two playoff series, the 1918 and 1925 NHL championships. Toronto won the first meeting, outscoring Montreal 10-7 over two games, and the Canadians won the second, beating the St. Patrick's, one of the original names for the Leafs, 5-2. After the Montreal Maroons folded in 1938, the Canadians and Maple Leafs remained the NHL's only Canadian teams for the following 42 years. And during that period, the rivalry festered. One of the biggest and earliest examples of this came during a game on December 28, 1939. The beginning of that game was a prelude of what was to come. Fans started by littering the Montreal Forum's ice with debris, and after referee and former Toronto Maple Leaf King Clancy called back the second Canadian's goal of the night, the Leafs and Habs engaged in a massive brawl. It was not a good night for Clancy, who by evening's end was manhandled by Habs president Ernie Savard, pushed by Toronto goaltender Turk Broda, and hit in the head by Johnny Gagnon's stick. The game was delayed by 25 minutes just to hand out penalties. The battlefield extended to the team's front offices in 1946 when assistant manager Frank J. Selke left the Buds to become the general manager of the Canadians. The decision was partly due to ongoing tensions between himself and Leafs managing director Con Smythe. The rivalry didn't hurt the teams on the ice though. From the mid-1950s through 1969, the two Canadian teams traded Stanley Cup victories back and forth, with only the Chicago Blackhawks breaking up the party to win one in 1961. After 1967, the rivalry calmed slightly due to NHL expansion. Fans of both teams, they began splitting off to new franchises with Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, Winnipeg being introduced to the West, while the Quebec Nordiques competed with the Canadians for the loyalties of those in Quebec. Then, like parents breaking up a fight between siblings, the NHL sent Toronto and Montreal to different conferences between 1981 and 1998, with the Maple Leafs heading west, and the Canadians out east. But that doesn't mean that they don't have any animosity towards one another anymore. Here's a relatively recent example. In a March 2006 game, Montreal's Alexei Kovalev was cutting across the ice in Toronto zone with the puck when Darcy Tucker caught him with a high elbow shot. When Kovalev recovered, the puck found him again. Then, when he came across Tucker a second time, scoring a goal was not on Kovalev's mind. Instead, Kovalev skated right at Tucker and hit him hard with an elbow to the head, knocking Tucker straight to the ice. As Tucker hunted down Kovalev, every player on the ice grabbed the dance partner and a full outline brawl ensued. The rivalry does indeed rage on. Despite Toronto's ongoing Stanley Cup drought, the Canadians and Maple Leafs, they still have won the most Stanley Cups in NHL history with 24 and 13 respectively. Previous historical successes and the long history of each franchise mean that they still have the two largest fan bases in the league. Both teams get an influx of visiting fans in their home arenas whenever the two play each other. In total, Toronto and Montreal have played each other 818 times, including playoff series. In total, Montreal holds an edge over Toronto with a record of 401, 329, and 88. 
Despite no recent playoff series between each other, and despite each franchise turning their attention to other rivals, don't go turning your back on one of the greatest rivalries in the history of hockey. Leafs-Habs represents more than just two teams not liking each other. No, it's become ingrained in our culture and has impacted hockey fans around the globe. Just remember, even if these two teams don't necessarily share the same kind of conflict they once had or haven't engaged in the same kind of animosity, that doesn't mean that we can't enjoy the rivalry with the exact same passion that we've always had.